everyone and welcome back to my closet. Today I have a beauty products that I used up video for you. I have lots of products here. Um, I have already done one of these videos and you guys said you like the idea. And plus I think it's a great way for you to know if I would repurchase the product or not and then you also get a review with it as well so without further ado let's begin with the products that i have used up the first thing that i used up is another pack of the shiseido cottons i highly recommend these if you have not tried the shiseido cottons you definitely should um, they are money well spent. They are delicate on the skin. They absorb the product like a dream and it just glides over my face without scratching it. Ever since you guys recommended this to me a couple years ago, I kept repurchasing. Love the Shiseido cottons. The next thing I've been loving is the L'Oreal Eye Makeup Remover. It costs on the 5 euros, great for waterproof mascaras, mascaras generally that um, you have difficulty taking off, stands no chance with this, gentle on the eyes, also fantastic for getting off lipsticks that leave stain or residue on your lip and I have repurchase because I don't want to be without it and actually I stopped purchasing the high-end eye makeup removers because I love this one so much and you can save a lot of money. The next thing I've been loving is the Dove Body Milk. I finished up two of them. This one is for dry skin. It's just a really nice rich uh, cream for my skin. I don't know, there's something about the formulation that my skin loves and it just drinks it up. <laughs> How else can I describe it? So I finished up two of these um, 500 milliliter bottles and I will continue to repurchase but I think for the summertime this works better for me than in the winter. In the winter time I like the Nutra Gina Body Balsam with Nordic Berry. It does a fantastic job of keeping my skin hydrated and it doesn't have that oily consistency. This however kind of does but my skin absorbs it pretty well so I would repurchase and I finished up two bottles of these. The next thing that I have is the L'Oreal Cleansing Water. This is the Mycelin Technology Rhinigong's Fluid. I have tried this, used it up. Um, honestly, I would not repurchase this. Um, somehow I think my Bioderma works way better than this does and even though this product is non-scented it did have a funny scent to it i don't know what it was and i used it up still because you know i don't want to waste money and just buy it and use half and not finish it up but i didn't enjoy using it by the way all the products that are finished up i will be listing them in the information bar so you can check that out and there's also other information in the information bar as well about my makeup, nail polish, and so on. Next up from Dove, I finished up the Clinical Protection Prescription Strength. I love this and whenever I go to the US I always stock up on it and they come in different scents. This one is I think cucumber with a powdery scent and I really love these and it does keep my armpits dry. <laughs> will definitely be repurchasing the Dove uh, Clinical Protection. Okay, on to Guerlain. I finished up another bottle of the Lore Makeup Primer. It is infused with 24 karat gold. It gives me an excellent base to work with. I have repurchased and will continue to repurchase. It just makes my skin look more radiant when I wear this underneath my foundation. And it comes with a pump and of course fabulous packaging like we expect from Guerlain. The next product that I finished up was another cleansing water. It is the Dior Cleansing Water with Pure Lily Extract. 
and this would be my second choice next to the Bioderma. There's something about this though that I really like. It really feels good on my skin. Like it has, I have the feeling that this calms down my skin. I like the touch and feel of it after I've removed my makeup using this. I do love the Bioderma. It will always be one of my favorite cleansing waters, but if the Bioderma was not available or you don't like it, I would definitely give this one from Dior a try. It's a Dior Instant Cleansing Water and it comes with a pump as well, which makes it convenient. And the stick inside reaches all the way to the bottom so that you're not wasting any of your product. Next up is my Lapari Foaming Cleanser. I absolutely love this. It lathers up like a dream and I use it along with my Clarisonic and it doesn't dry out my skin like other cleansers do. This is just beautiful and I will continue to repurchase. It doesn't give me breakouts or anything like that and you just need a very small amount and it lathers up. And I think that this is one of the most affordable products in the La Paris skincare line. Next up, I finish up this Clarence Hydra Quench Cream and it is for normal to dry skin. It does not keep my skin hydrated the entire day and I did see those dry patches start to come out like after five, six hours of wearing it and I would not repurchase it. However, I have used up the product completely and um, I'm happy I tried it because now I get to tell you guys about it so I would not repurchase this. Next up, I finished up one of these YSL Gloss Pure. Really loved it. It was not sticky. I actually like the Gloss Pure. I, I hope that they bring out a formulation like this again. Maybe in some other colors because this was really, really pretty and it has a very nice mango-y scent to it. I would definitely repurchase if I see it again and it was not sticky on the lips. Next, I tried out this Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I think this alone does not do anything for my skin. I have to use other products with it. I have really dry skin and my skin was not hydrated the entire day and I think I need more than just a moisturizer. Maybe if I was like in my 20s or I was 18, 19, 16 years old, this would have been perfect. But now that I'm older and worried about fine lines and all of that, this is not going to do it for me. So I'm happy I tried this out as well. And no, I will not be repurchased. Next is the Bobbi Brown Lip Balm. And it also has SPF 15. And I have cleaned this out. I don't hear a lot of reviews or see a lot of people on YouTube talk about this, but this lip balm is oh so good and in the winter it had helped me with my very dry lips, keeping them moisturized and I didn't have chapped lips while using it. Love the formulation and yes, I will be repurchasing this. What do we have next? I finished up the Gentle Biphase Eye Makeup Remover from Chanel. I've used this for a good four years now. I love it. But since I have started using the L'Oreal, I have stopped purchasing this. I do like it but I think it's a lot of money to spend on a eye makeup remover and I love it. It's a luxury, it's a treat and I have used it and enjoyed it for four years but really this does an amazing job so I won't be repurchasing this from Chanel. Next I have from Clinique again this foaming cleanser mousse. I love this absolutely love it and I will be repurchasing it. I never knew how good this thing was. It lathers up like a dream. It was very gentle on my skin and like I said, you know, um, some products from certain lines I will like better than others and I enjoyed using it. So yes, 
repurchasing. The next thing that I finished up was actually two products from Chanel. One is the Hydromac Active um, Nutrition. This is the nourishing cream for dry skin. While I was using it, I absolutely love it. It smells divine. <laughs> And it's definitely a product that I will be repurchasing. Actually, I used it for the past four years. This is a really good moisturizer. It keeps my skin hydrated the entire day. I don't have dry patches. This summer, I made the attempt to finish up all the products that I haven't finished up. So I'm happy that I finished this up. Um, I am using my Shiseido Bio Performance Cream and that has done wonders for my skin. Keep those fine lines at bay. But like I said, I'm in my 30s and I need more than just a moisturizing cream. I need something that is going to fight against um, fine lines. And I have seen a lot of results with my Shiseido Bio Performance, but this is so lovely. So maybe one day I will treat myself to it again because I enjoyed using it that much. I also finished up the Hydromax Active. This one is the Moisture Gel Cream and I just love the smell of it. If you're sensitive to scents, this is not for you. I would stay away from this, but I absolutely love it. And you know, in the summertime, what happens is that my skin returns to normal. So I don't need um, such a heavy cream during the daytime. And this was pretty nice underneath my makeup and I enjoyed using it and I finished it up and I think I would repurchase maybe next summer. Also finished up my Dior top coat. This is a fast drying top coat. I've featured this in a lot of favorites videos. When it gets to this last little bit right here, you need to get a new one because then what happens is that your nail polish will start bubbling. So when it gets to this point, I stop using it but it is a really good top coat and I would definitely be repurchasing it and it's also very fast drying. Next product I finished up, wow, I have gone through so many products, is again from Chanel. This is their Foaming Gel Cleanser. I wouldn't recommend it if you have dry skin, I wouldn't. I would recommend this for somebody who has oily and combination skin because on me it was very drying on my skin and it also comes with a pump. I did like using it but for my dry skin I need something that is more effective and I thought that the Lapari was more effective as a cleanser. Still on cleanser because I've probably tried every cleanser on the market is the foaming mousse cleanser from Chanel. I love this and I would definitely be repurchasing it. It lathers up like a dream, goes very well with my Clarisonic and I tell you, this is something. I would say that this is more suited for my skin than this one is. And last but certainly not least, I used up two products from Lancome this was actually in a set where I got the serum. I got all the products like a trial size in a box. And this is the Lancome Genifique Repair. This one is the night cream and this one is the day cream. I like using it. Would I repurchase them? No, because I didn't see enough difference in my skin to repurchase. I know a lot of people love it and swear by it but I think my Shiseido Bio Performance outperforms this too. And um, I like using it. I had no skin irritations whatsoever, but I think that if you spend this kind of money on a product, you should definitely be seeing way more results. And um, no, I would not repurchase. So that's it for my 
empties products that I used up video I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do enjoy sharing please give this video a thumbs up if you would like me to do more of these empties videos because I think it's the best way to tell you guys if I would repurchase products that I've used or not that you may have seen in hauls and you don't know if I like them or not I love you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye everyone Thank you.